Hello YouTube, this is Sophie. This is the second part of the previous tutorial. In the first part, we learned how to draw this manga girl. Now, we will continue shading. I will be showing you my shading techniques using a regular pencil. There will not be a lot of explanation in this video. Shading is learned by observations and most importantly, practice. I always start by shading the eyes first as shown. Shade the iris going from dark to lighter grades by pressing firmly with your pencil. Then, I'm going over the lines again to define the character's face and hair. The more hair strands you add, the more realistic and pretty the character will look like. Then I'm adding more shadow to the pupil, which gives the eyes more definition. Now I'm pressing the pencil lightly to add shadow to the face. I'm then adding shading to the neck as shown. The light here is coming from the right direction. Darken the eyelashes and then the eyebrows. The more you work on it, the better it becomes. That's the beauty of shading. Add more highlight to the eyes. I'm shading the forehead, the areas close to the hair strands. Darken the area behind the ears, it gives the character a more 3D look.
I'm shading the hair bow then erasing the pencil smudge on the face. I always erase the area close to the source of light. It gives it a cool effect. Applying final touches and the sketch is done. I took a picture of it in my phone and imported it to Clip Studio, the software I used to draw manga. I clicked edit and then convert brightness to opacity to keep the line art with no background. Then I added a new layer and placed it under the line art layer. I used the pen tool or the brush and started coloring the skin. I created a new layer and selected a darker skin tone to add shading. I like using the airbrush to add shadows. I've never colored over a pencil sketch, but I thought of giving it a try. I always color in separate layers unless I wanted to blur two colors together. I'm doing the same thing over and over. Create a new layer underneath the line art and color.
We're now done. Thank you for watching my video and I hope it helped you in learning how to shade and color. I'm having a 50% sale on all my books in my online store, so check it out if you haven't read my manga yet. And I will see you in the next video.